Um, so during our January meeting, when we were talking about plant, oh, that thing is hot. Wow. It's like, ooh. no, I mean, it's a, I'm okay, but I wasn't expecting it to be all that warm. Um, a lot of people I found had questions about the jury process. How does it work? What will you do to me if I go there? <laughs> um, so I'm going to do just a quick rundown and make sure that everyone knows we're all on the same page about what the process is. And then if you have questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, so I'm just going to go through quickly because uh, a lot of you are already familiar with this stuff. There is a page um, with jury information on the website. So if you're not sure, you can always refer back to that or get in touch with us. You can email the guild and someone will answer you. Usually we're pretty quick. Usually. Um, so the first thing that I want to kind of give everyone a little information on is why we jury the way that we do. Um, because groups do things differently. Um, people have had different experiences with, you know, gone different places and juried in different ways and whatever. And I personally don't have a lot of experience with that, so I only know what I've heard. But um, one thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that people feel like they're ready to go when they come into jury. Um, we want you to feel welcome. We want you to take it seriously, but we don't want you to be afraid. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a difficult balance, but um, we want to give you the opportunity to grow as an artist, whether you're accepted as a juried artist or you're not, um, you know, so that regardless of the outcome of the jury, you know why we made the decision that we made and where to go from there. Um, so we really just want to, we want everyone to be successful. So. You know, if you're if it's not the first time, maybe it's the second time, maybe it takes three, whatever the case. Um, and then we also want you to have the insight into how other artists view your work. Um, and you would be surprised even for someone who's been through it a couple times. Uh, it's always interesting to read what other people have to say about your work and how, you know, things that you don't think of when you look at it, other people will see things differently than you do. Um, so it's just, it's super interesting. Um, and I always look forward to the comments after. So who can jury? So you need to be doing fine art or fine craft. We don't do things like food or candles or soap or things like that. Um, we don't want you to be using patterns that you bought at the store or sewing patterns that you ordered online or things like that. So if you're going to do, you know, sewn items or whatever, or even, you know, you're cutting out wood or whatever you're doing we want you to have original designs. So you're not copying designs from somewhere else. Uh, and of course you have to produce your own work. <laughs> so um, you also need to be a member in good standing for six months prior to the jury date. Um, so we want you to know what we're about. We would like to know what you're about before you walk into a jury situation. Uh, we'd like you to attend at least three meetings um, for the same reason, because we want you to be involved with us. We want you to know who we are. We want to know about you. Um, and we find that the more people attend meetings and the more they get involved with us, the, the more success they have. Uh, so the three meetings, you can either do them in person or you can do them on Zoom. Uh, hello, everyone in Zoom land. <laughs> um, but, and that also helps you feel comfortable with us, with the environment, with the process. Um, and, and we want you to participate in the guild. We don't want you to jury and then disappear. We want you to stay involved with us. We want to see you. Um, in terms of the jury, re-jury, renewal schedule. Uh, so the first time you jury, if you make it, you have three years before you have to jury again. So that would be your second. Three more years. So the six year mark, you're going to jury again. And then five years after that, so you have your first one and then three years, three years, and then five years. At your, at your third jury, which is the 11-year mark, if you've passed all three juries successfully, you are then considered a lifetime juried artist. So that means that as long as you maintain your membership, you stay in good standing with the guild, you never have to jury again, you're always considered a juried artist. Uh, and the reason that we do that is because as we age, <laughs> things happen, people retire, 
they're no longer maybe practicing their art or maybe they're not able to practice their art in the same way. Um, but you have all that experience and all that knowledge and that's valuable. So you're still an asset to the group. So we don't wanna lose those people. We want you to stay with us. So um, the jury process itself. So when you do your application, you will get back a, uh, an appointment time that tells you this is the time that you're scheduled to jury. We recommend you get here 10 minutes before the time. We give you five minutes to bring your stuff in and set it up. We will help you with that if you need a hand. Um, and then we take five minutes for the jurors to come up and look at your work a little more closely. You have 10 minutes then to talk about your work, your process, your inspiration, your education, anything else that you wanna tell us about how you work or why, you're, why you work the way you do or what you're, you know, what you're really about. Um, if you need 10 minutes, it's up to 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, some people only need a few. And then we take about five minutes for the jury panel to ask you questions. So it's clarifying your process or, um, you know, any, it, and it depends specifically on your, your art as to what kind of questions you're going to get. Um, we do have some general questions, you know, how has your art changed? Where are you headed? Uh, you know, um, but how do you compare yourself to other artists in the same medium? Things like, there's all, we have a list. And then depending on the situation, we may ask different questions. Um, so I can't give you every possible scenario. It's gonna be up to the jurors on the day, what they come up with and what they decide to ask you. But it's nothing, you know, we're not trying to break you over the coals. We're just interested in what you do. And then once that's finished, we give you five minutes to pack up and then you're excused. And the jury will then talk about your work and we discuss amongst ourselves. We have a score sheet that we use. So everyone, every juror that sits on the panel will give you a score in the, in the um, categories that we have on our sheet. Um, and then from there, we make a determination as to whether you're juried successfully or you need to come back and try again. Uh, okay, so what do we want from you? What we want is three to five pieces of your best work. Um, so that should be the top of your ability. Uh, I don't recommend that you bring experimental work or things that you tried it, but you're not really sure of it yet, or it didn't quite go the way you planned. Or it, That's not the time to bring us that kind of work. We wanna see the best of what you're capable of. Um, the criteria that we use basically, evidence mastery of medium. So. Do you know what you're doing with the stuff that you're using? <laughs> Your design, which is comp um, composition, aesthetics, and originality. So like I said, it shouldn't look like everyone else's work out there. It should be your own original work. And your expertise, which is the knowledge, knowledge of your process. Um, and you know, for most mediums, we have somebody on the jury who's at least familiar with what you're doing. Uh, very rarely do we have no one in the room who has no experience at all. Um, so, uh, and in that case, you know, it's your job then to educate us about what you do. So how do we evaluate? Um, we look at the skill level, the quality of your work, your professionalism in your presentation. So it should look like professional work, um, and, and it should be presented in a professional way. So if it's fine art, if it's not framed, it should be mounted. At least it should look nice. It shouldn't be. You know, you shouldn't bring us frames that are banged up. It shouldn't, it, you know, it should be ready to hang if you're gonna do a museum show. Um, if for 3D work, it, it should be all in good condition. It shouldn't look like it fell out of the back of your car on the way over. <laughs> um, so it just needs to be a professional presentation. Um, and then one of the questions that we ask ourselves and that we ask each other is if we were at a show, would we be proud to have this person next to us at a show? Um, so that's, we'll give you some insight into how, how our thought process works. Um, so how can we help you? Um, number one, we're doing this tonight to give everyone sort of an overview. And I'm sorry that, you, Ray, you just missed it. <laughs> but you, it, you did fine. Um, but for anyone who's leading up to the jury, we have this presentation and I'm doing this tonight because we had so many questions. Uh, and I know for a lot of people, it's really nerve wracking to even think about, oh, 
I don't want a jury, I'm scared. Um, it's not scary, it really isn't. We're very nice, I promise. <laughs> Uh, and the other thing that we do in order to help you is if you don't feel confident enough or you're not sure if you're ready, please come to us and we will find a mentor for you so that you can have someone to bounce ideas off of, someone who can look at your work with you, tell you what might be more appropriate to bring versus what uh, maybe don't, you know, that might not be the thing to take, um, you know, and just make sure that your presentation is at the level that it should be at, um, you know, and, and, there's no harm in having a second set of eyes um, because like I said, p other people are gonna see your work differently than you see it. So it's never a bad idea. We're happy to do that. Um, you know, Most of the time we can find someone who's working in your medium. If not, we'll find someone who at least has some knowledge, um, but we'll get you paired up. So what happens after you jury? Uh, you get a letter in the mail, usually within about two weeks. Um, Kim is actually very fast. And I know she's watching tonight, so I want to make sure that everyone knows that Kim is our jury chair. She's very precise, super organized, and very quick. So, um, in fact, she was chasing me around because I'm the one that prints the certificates out, uh, and she wanted them now. So, <laughs> so she doesn't waste any time. So you'll get your answer pretty quickly. Um, if you are accepted, you'll get a certificate that says that you are a juried artist. You'll also get a uh, booth sign with a triangle rose on it that you can hang in your booth at art shows or you know hang on your fridge at home or whatever you want to do with it post it on the internet we always love that um, if you are not accepted you'll get your feedback it'll be an explanation as to why uh, you know why we made the decision that we made and if for some reason that's the outcome when you jury we don't want you to go away Okay, we're not telling you that you're not good enough to be here. What we're telling you is there are a few things about your work that need some refining and we wanna help you do that. So we don't want anyone to just go away. <laughs> um, you know, if you didn't get a mentor, that would be a good time to find one. Um, if you did have a mentor, you may need to continue working with that person or maybe someone else we can pair you with, whatever the case may be. Um, but we really, I, I, and I wanna stress this because it's important, we don't want you to leave. <laughs> We really want you to stay with us um, because I, I believe that everybody, you know, has the potential to get to that point. We just need to get you going in the right direction. Um, in terms of benefits for juried artists, we have a whole, um, I'm sure you've all perused the website thoroughly. Um, so you've seen that there's a page on there that lists all the juried artists. It gives your contact information. You can post some pictures of your work let people know how to get in touch with you if they want to shop with you or they want you to work on a project, that kind of thing. Uh, one of the new things that we're doing is we have a featured artist, um, artist of the month on social media. So um, those people come from our pool of juried artists and Holly Wentlet is doing a very good job of um, getting that taken care of. But you can have a whole month to yourself to be promoted through the guild on social media. Um, we also have a rolling display in the Castiglia Art Center, which is over there in the tall building behind us. If you haven't been, you should go check it out. Um, but Paulette Krakowski and Melissa Buckley are working on that. So it's they're doing two artists at a time. And I'm not sure what the time frame is. I think it's like six weeks. But you get to put your art up in the Castiglia Art Center and then any tours that come through, any meetings that happen, any classes that go on, your art is on exhibit up there. Um, and that's really just a benefit of, you know, and the campus has allowed us to do that, which is really cool. Um, so it's kind of a cooperative thing where they're getting something on their walls and we're getting to show our artwork. Uh, another one of the benefits is no jury fee and automatic acceptance to all three shows on the campus. So uh, it's a nice perk and the most important one, I think, is that you get to use the triangle rose on your work. So that's our shop mark. I'm sure you've all seen it. There's a big sculpture in the on the Appian Way out by the parking lot. If you missed it, it's out there. <laughs> our rose is the one that's on the top, the big yellow one. Um, and that's a symbol that, you know, you're part of the guild, which is part of the Roycroft campus. And as I'm doing more shows and as I'm going further away from home, I'm noticing that People now are walking into my booth and they're looking at that and they're going, oh, you're from the Roycroft. So 
we're starting to have that brand recognition, um, you know, with the Triangle Rose. So it's a it's another cool bonus. Uh, I believe at one time there used to be a hyperlink from membership jury membership list to their website. Is that still in existence? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on on each individual page. Yeah. All of the all of the juried artists can submit whatever Paul takes care of that so when you're when you jury you'll get a an information release form and a request for all that information picture of yourself a short bio three pictures of your work um, and he's also pretty quick about getting that he's much better at it than I am <laughs> I because I used to do that um, but um, so he will put that up for you and whatever information you want as far as whatever means you want people to contact you by whether it's a website, whether it's an email, if you want your phone number, whatever it is, he'll put it on there for you. So, questions? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, if you're working in more than one medium, um, you have to jury separately for each. You can do them on the same day if we have space, or you can separate it. You know, you can do one this year, one next year, however you want to do it. Um, but the process is the same for each. You're treated like a separate artist. So if you do watercolor and you do fiber, you'll do watercolor and that's one. And then your fiber is a completely separate thing. So we're going to jury you almost like two different people. So, yes. Uh, two on the same day. Jointly? No. Yep. Mm hmm Yep. Well, you still have to jury separately? Yeah. So. Well, one is leather and one is wood. So unless you want a jury as mixed media, and, you know, and then, and we can work that out on an individual basis with you guys. Um, because you're sort of a separate, separate kind of thing because you work together. Yeah. 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 So we'll uh, because you guys are are sort of the outlier because you don't fit into the normal process. So we would deal with that individually. But yeah, we do. You do have to go separately. Yeah, yep, for sure. Yeah, we'll get we'll get somebody for each of you, definitely, to d just, you know, reach out. Uh, Quick question about the Triangle Rose. Yeah. Do you want other artists to apply in or whatever would make them? Um, well, for me as a jeweler, because I do jewelry, and because of the kind of jewelry that I do, I can't just stamp it on my work because I do wire work. So... For me, I put it on my business cards and I have it on the sign in my booth um, because it really doesn't, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> um, yeah. So for wood, you might want to take a look at what, what Ray does and what Jack does, um, but you can actually put the triangle rows right into your work. So um, you're, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can definitely do that. I know you mentioned this in, in your way, but I wanted to accentuate on magic within the detail. There's a little something that's kind of messed up and it's kind of hidden away. When you go through the jury process, we'll see that. So it should be your very best. Your yep. Best. Um, if there's a mistake or something that's, that's obvious, um, there are people in the, um, in the group who, who jury who will be attuned to your media. So just be really careful about those and I should say also that whatever kind of work you bring us, we're going to pick it up, we're going to flip it over, we're going to look inside, outside, top side, bottom side, turn it around. Yeah, so we're going to see the whole thing. So, um, you know, your best bet really is to make sure that everything is exactly as it should be. It's also important to say that everyone, uh, the goal here isn't to be a jury You don't have to be. You can come if you like coming to see and talking with people about your art and sharing or maybe collaborating, whatever the case may be. This 
isn't this isn't the end result. Everybody isn't going to jury. Right. Not everyone's going to be on that path. Yep. So this would be more of a hobby. It's still we welcome it. Absolutely. It's not a and Did you have something else, Robin? Yeah, if there's somebody who wants to um say you don't even want you are want to be a jury artist, um you are a jury artist. Um if you if you want to do a presentation for us, that often can be very helpful for if you do craft shows, if you present during a show, it's a great way to be with a friendly group. Who can help you, you know, just help you succeed more in presentations and how you feel about yourself and your content. So, just so I, I, uh, Janet Bader is helpful for the, um, the education part as far as presentation. So, if you're interested in presenting for us on Thursday night, you can see us. Um, also, I did ask one of our recent juried artist if she would be willing to come up and talk about her experience a little bit because she just went through it for the first time um and she hasn't been, how long have you been with us come on up Pina. one year one year yeah so um so she kind of knows a little bit about our personalities but um you know she's going to tell you how she found it to be and please be honest <laughs> you're under no obligation Okay. So please tell them really what you think about, you know, having gone through the process and for the first time and how it was. Okay, so initially it was kind of nerve wracking. I'm a mixed media fiber artist and there's not really any of that in this group. And so I wasn't sure how I, you know, would fit in with this group. I did a presentation, which is Robin had asked me to come in and do a presentation and Paulette had asked me to come to a meeting and see what it was all about because she felt that my work is different and should be part of this group. So then, you know, we talk, start talking about the jury process. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Bradley to be my mentor so that he could give me advice on doing like an artist statement because that's something I've never really had to do. And then I selected some pieces and passed it by him and, and he approved what I had chosen. And then of course the day of it's you know, kind of jittery, but I do have some past experience to speaking to an audience. So I wasn't that worried about that part of it. And I know my work and I felt that my pieces were probably the best that I had, except for the ones that I've sold. And um, overall, it was it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I spoke with Paulette in the hall because he was getting rejuried. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, you'll be fine." So I was like, "Okay." So that's my experience. It's it wasn't as bad as I thought. And we didn't grill you terribly. No, no, um, you know, There's a few questions about the work. I really appreciated the feedback. Um, mm -hmm. So that well, my acceptance letter. Came in the mail, jumping up and down. <laughs> I was so excited. Okay. If there's any questions. And you can ask her, you can ask her privately about her experience too, because I know she's, you know, she's on the spot here tonight. But um, you know, really that's the feedback that we get from a lot of people is that, oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I don't know what people think we're going to do to them when they come to Jerry. <laughs> But, um, you know, but I want to take some of the fear away because really it's a learning process. We're learning about you. You're learning about jury process. Everybody's learning about your work. You're going to learn something about yourself. You're going to get, you know, those those outside opinions, which are really, really valuable. And if you're somebody who's been a jury artist for a long time, you're still going to get feedback that's going to help. It'll, it'll show you, you know, bring up something that, that'll help you along or, you know, help you with your new ideas. It's a kind of collaboration, really. Yeah. You know, for just yeah. It's a really nice group to work with. So please don't be afraid of it. Be afraid of it. I, I just offer a little bit of advice. Yeah. First one is definitely. Oh. 
Thanks, Ray. Anybody else have questions? Anybody need more information about anything? No? Okay. Well, thank you all. If you uh, think of things later that you want to know, please, you can get a hold of me. All my contact information is right on the website, um, or you can just email the guild, um, artsandcraftsmanguild at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, if you put my name in the subject, I'll get the email and um, I'll get back to you. So thank you, have a good night.